Hi, this is Miss Cindy, and I'm going to do a quick video. I'm just going to try. I've been on this hook on trying to get this butterfly and this this flower, and the napkin pour is not working for me. I'm going to attempt it again. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to do, I, I did the blow dryer um, pour, and I loved it. So I'm going to try to do that again and see if I can get, instead of an abstract, maybe a, a flower, where it looks like a flower. I'm going to do something different. I am not going to put any base on this canvas. I just painted the canvas green. I'm not going to put any base on it. I'm just going to just pile on my covers. I'm going to use the scallop cup. All my paint already has Floetro in it. And I don't want it too watery, so when I use the blow dry it, it just runs wild. So once again, I'm just playing around. I just want to see if this is going to work, especially since I'm not using Floetro. <laughs> and we shall see. So all I'm going to do is just lay in my paints. I'm going to use my stick as if I'm doing uh, that dirty cut flower pour. And I'm just going to wing it and let's see what happens without putting a base uh, a flow tro and acrylic on the bottom let's just see what happens I'm gonna start out with white and a lot of white just to get going I should have opened my um, paint, which I didn't do. Okay. I'll go go one more round.
I did forget to pull this out. By the way, this little contraption I have here, if I do a spin or the blow dryer just to keep it from going everywhere, I just take some brown paper and make it like a box top uh, to keep that uh, from splattering. Uh, I've seen some splatters on my camera, on my ring light that I never knew got there. Okay. I want to make sure I have at least a lot of paint on here because I don't know how it's going to flow by not using any flow troll. And I've never done this before. Okay, so let me get, um, I do want some more black. I'm going to do a little bit of white and then black again. Okay. So I'm using the same technique as if I was doing, uh, The napkin pour, I'm using the scallop cup. So there's the same design. I'm going to, this is gonna go in and out. I want this. A little bit wider. Okay, so now we're ready for the blow dryer. <laughs> the one thing I did do, because I didn't want it blowing all over the place uh, with no control, if you can see, I taped, taped it off so I only have maybe about three quarters of an inch for the blow dryer. Um, so this way, when I put it down, it's not doing such a large spot at the same time. So let's see if it works. Don't know if this is gonna be enough room. Nope. Give me a second, guys. I wasn't ready for this. Wasn't gonna tape it, but I did. So I, I disconnected my, um, I sure hope it's still bright enough. Okay, I 
I'm about to do the same silly thing again. I'm not afraid of getting my hands dirty when it comes to paint, but um, I'm going to put some gloves on. And I also hate when I'm not ready. I also... I'm just going through this again because no flow trail on the base. This looks like it's already drying. So. Okay, let's go. Let's see if it works. I'm not going to get a flower, but I'm going to see what this comes out. I think I'm going to take it all the way to the border.
that has a little marbled look that I'm sort of liking. I think that would be really pretty resin. Okay, so that goes to prove if you have Floetro in your paint, you don't necessarily need a base. And that's what I was trying to see. Now, I did not have to paint my canvas anything. I could have just left it white. I don't know if the acrylic paint um, helped it move. I was going to leave some of the green of the canvas on the background, but I sort of like this. So I just took it all the way to the end. And what I will probably do is take my hunter green and just outline it again. But anyway, this was just to see if I could do the blow dryer pull without putting down a base. And yes, it works. So I think I'm gonna resin this. And after I resin it, I'll bring it back. I'm pretty pleased with that, that's pretty. Even in, in uh, spite of the dark colors, it has a a light feel so I will be back once I resin it okay guys I'm totally finished with this one I went ahead and resined it and I love this one let me see if I could if it'll work hold on let's see if that looks better anyway I really like this one and this was with the blow dryer <laughs> And it wasn't supposed to be this. I was trying to see if I could make the shape of a flower. But this came out pretty good. So I like that one. And then I had some black and white left over. So I did a smaller one. Still using the blow dryer. And I like this one too. This has a really smoky feel. So this one's going in my bathroom. And the other one's probably going in the back room. But uh, I love the blow dryer. I'm thinking about doing a big one with the blow dryer. Anyway, have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you like the content, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you think, and have a great day.